Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another video. This has been an outstanding video. I have had to do it and it's taken a bit of time. So top 10 autumn 2019 designer list. I've done a niche list. I'll probably leave a link at the end of the video. This one is designers and I, I'm slightly late because I'm waiting. I was waiting for two fragrances. They have arrived and they are in this list. I'm featuring them for the first time in any of my uh, seasonal lists. So, autumn. Autumn is uh, basically an in-between weather. And the kind of notes I like to wear in autumn are light incense, myrrh, um, oud, light oud fragrances, cedar-based fragrances, tobacco, leather, but not too heavy. I quite uh, like spicy fragrances like cinnamon, uh, like cardamom, I also like lavender. Those are my favorite notes. So I've tried to pick a balanced list. I forgot to mention vanilla. I absolutely love vanilla in um, autumn. So my list is quite varied and I've tried to sort of bring in a little bit of uniqueness um, as I go from year to year. So if you look at my autumn 2018 list, this is a little bit different than last year's list. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's start. I'm going to start the list with a bang, as I always do. It's a Dior, and it's a discontinued Dior. It's Dior Fahrenheit Absolute. It's quite easy to uh, get hold of nowadays, although it's discontinued. Why I like, I actually like Fahrenheit quite a lot. But sometimes that petroleum vibe, that note, can be a bit too much. This one is a little bit muted. But what it's got is a very beautiful note of myrrh and quite a smoky, uh, in sense, along with slight hints of leather as well. And I believe there's a, a healthy dose of ambergris, if I'm not mistaken. So this one is quite suitable for in-between weather, but because it's got that myrrh, slightly contemplative nature, it's basically more suited to autumn than spring. It's also a very nice work scent because of those notes, you know, myrrh, incense, they help you concentrate. I'd really like to wear this to work. I never spray this on my shirt because of that petroleum vibe, that note, but I keep it under my shirt. Sometimes I'll go one or two on my wrist and just, you know, it gives me a full work day. It's a muted scent. It doesn't project like Fahrenheit, but it's a very rounded, full bodied, uh, slightly more contemplative, uh, very, very reserved, mysterious, and yet elegant kind of fragrance. Very suitable uh, for a suit and tie in autumn, yeah? So that was my first entry, Fahrenheit Absolute. Unfortunately discontinued, but easy to get hold of. Next one is on my list. Uh, next one on my list is a fragrance I've never featured. It's a sandalwood ba based fragrance. It's a house that I don't talk about much. I'm just discovering this house. It's by Gorilla Perfume, and this one is called Smuggler's Soul. Now there used to be uh, an Indian sandalwood smuggler, and his name, was, I uh, can't remember his name now, Virapan. His name was Virapan, he used to look like this. Now Virapan used to smuggle some sandalwood. He was a very notorious guy. Now this is basically an ode to Virapan because he was a sandalwood smuggler, but this has got nothing to do with a smuggler-like personality. It's a very nice sandalwood, very cheap, very easy to get hold of. And it's a very, it's a proper Mysore sandalwood smell. So you won't get it for this cheap. You know, Mysore sandalwood is protected. It's very hard to get hold of. When you do get hold of it, it's quite expensive. But this one is not expensive. It smells a bit like Mysore sandalwood. There's a big difference between Mysore sandalwood and Indian sandalwood. This is Mysore sandalwood and vetiver. It smells very pure. You know, that's why I like sandalwood. Sandalwood is a very pure scent, very deep scent and very pure scent. Normal sandalwood, natural sandalwood. And they mixed it with a grassy vetiver. It's got this beautiful purity about itself. It's very um, meditative kind of a smell. It's very, uh, you know, pure, um, sort of, when you want to concentrate on something, sandalwood is a perfect note. So again, a beautiful work scent and one of those scents that that probably won't get you a compliment but probably will help you focus a lot at work because both vetiver grassy vetiver and this pure um, 
lovely full body rounded sandalwood both are ideal for focused work so when you're in the mood to do some focused work again a beautiful scent doesn't cost a lot of money quite easy to get hold of at least i found it easy i don't know about you wherever you are living so sandalwood is another superb note for autumn so that's that's where that can come in but it's not a compliment magnet <clears throat> next one in my list is a compliment magnet it's also a cheapy i recently featured this in one of my videos and this is this is him by zadig and voltaire the more i wear it the more i love it it's a beautiful spiced up vanilla vanilla and pepper along with incense and with that incense is this synthetic sandalwood which is beautifully made synthetic sandalwood so beautifully made the fragrance smells amazing it's masculine it's mysterious it's sexy it lasts a long time and it projects it was created by Natalie Lawson she doesn't do bad fragrances i've done a full review of this one and this fragrance if you just have want to have one and you're on a budget this autumn try this one 50 ml uh, probably 27 to 30 pounds. It's not that difficult to get hold of. Extremely well made. Really good scent. So Zadi and Walter, this is him. That was number three on the list. Number four on the list is, what can I say about this one? This is a masterpiece. It's a Gala. I've done a full review of this fragrance and it is Lage. This is not the extreme version. This is just normal Lage, but it's still a vintage. The bottles have changed. The bottles now look like the Listerine bottles. But I haven't tried them. Probably they are still the same. Galan doesn't play along with their, play around with their fragrances. They normally are true to their composition. This is a Shipra. This has got a fruity orange. It's got a very spicy patchouli. It's got a very creamy sandalwood. And it's also the best thing about this fragrance is that anise note. It's a bitter and there's a cacao note. So bitter, spicy, chocolatey creamy sandalwood this is a very complex fragrance and yet extremely enjoyable just a very very sexy fragrance you know and i've worn this in summer evenings it works even better so if you live in a hot country <clears throat> autumn can be as warm as our summers 25 20 degrees 25 degrees for that kind of a weather this is a blessing it smells outstanding it's just brilliant so lich my galant suited for any occasion you know this is this has a bit of a boomerang kind of a quality you feel it's gone it comes back but i wouldn't go more than four sprays even if, if you're going to a party because you know this is quite a strong scent as long as you're indoors so lich ideal all-round autumn fragrance the warmer it is the better it will be yeah next on my list is a vanilla another vanilla and the second vanilla in the list it's a gala it's basically a beautiful date night fragrance, also a daytime fragrance. It is Ideal EDP. I've done a full review of this one. It is one of my early reviews. This one is slightly more, it's got this medicinal cough syrup like smell because it's got, yeah, this has got, uh, I believe, cherry and almond as well. But it's not sugary sweet, it's powdery though. Yeah, so if you don't like powdery scents, probably you want to give this a miss. It's quite powdery. But the vanilla, it's not as posh as, let's say, Shalimar's vanilla, but it's still very welcoming. And that's why I said it's a very good date night fragrance because that's, it really pulls people towards you. And since it smells so unique, nobody's copied this uh, DNA, I believe. It's one of those fragrances that really gets a conversation started. The other person who's smelling you will feel extremely comfortable in your company. So, ideal is for those occasions you know like for me i'll be going out a bit so socializing with people hanging out with friends yeah very comforting very beautifully made fragrance nothing special but very well done evening scent i want this to office as well you know on a gloomy day when you want to really pick yourself up it's a great office scent as well doesn't project that much though stays close to the skin <clears throat> next on my list is a monster and it is a cinnamon based fragrance. I've been talking this fragrance up a lot recently. It's a Rosasi, it's a fabulous fragrance. It is Sutur Wow. Now, WWW, I've done a full review. This one is now an out clubbing scent. It's slightly sweet, very dry, woody cinnamon. The two woods I get is guy wood and cedar. It's also got 
the fabulous cinnamon. It's a very, very opulent cinnamon. And it's just one of those fragrances which is outgoing, um, sort of flamboyant, you know, um, stylish, that kind of a fragrance. So ideal for clubbing. Excellent projection, excellent performance, very, very good longevity. Great value for money. I think this is one of those fragrances that you must have in your collection because, you know, everybody goes out once in a while. You go into the cinema, put this on, two and two here, everybody will smell you and they will think of you as in you have got a bit of style. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've done six, four left. So next on my list is a Gala. It's a Shipra and it's a very complex fragrance. You know, Lidge was born here. This was released in the 90s. It's Heritage Eau de Parfum. Beautifully made Shipra. Very strong fragrance. The EDP is very full on. And it's got about 20 odd notes. The prominent ones are Carnation, uh, obviously creamy sandalwood, that is the Lidge thing. Patchouli, Anise. There's a tincture-like smell here. I can't remember the entire note breakdown, but this is very complex. This is also slightly more mature, so 35 plus. And this is for those people who have a bit of experience uh, with perfumery, a bit of experience with fragrances, because this is not an instant like, but it will grow on you. And also very complex and full bodied, you know? So it might shock you if you're new into uh, fragrances and you straight away go to heritage. But if you have a bit of experience, this is again an all weather fragrance. This doesn't wear you, you wear it. and. You know, you won't get a compliment because of that tincture note. But if you do get a compliment, you'll get it from someone who understands perfumery. So if there's a very well read, very well um, aware lady, she smells this on you, she'll definitely compliment you. Heritage is a very fine fragrance. I'm going to review it very soon. So three left. Top three of autumn 2019. Number three, new fragrance. And I'm completely bowled over by this. It is Dior Sauvage Parfum. Guys, you know, I don't like Sauvage. And I recently did a video, last video, and I mentioned this in the haul video that I'm completely bowled over by this. Reason being, this is such a clever composition. It's got Ambroxan, but that metallic vibe is gone, that grapefruit is gone, and it's been replaced by a beautiful, full-bodied orange, very high-quality orange. And they've brought in this Sri Lankan sandalwood. I'm a massive fan of sandalwood. And this Sri Lankan sandalwood is something that I've never tried before. So the dry down of this fragrance is nothing less than a niche quality. It's a beautiful fragrance. And I just heard from looking at your comments in my last video, I think most of the reviewers have played this down. They didn't like it. I don't know. I really like it. And I'll do a full review very soon. I really think this is a very high quality um, sort of a flanker, if you like. Well, I don't have any other Sauvage. Parfum, I went for it straight away. The moment I tested it, I knew I had to get Parfum. Very nice, very, very nice fragrance. Um, I wouldn't wear this to work still, or maybe I will, but I will definitely wear it to special occasions, tuxedo-like occasions, when I'm really well-dressed. That is where I'll, uh, I think this will shine. It's really expensive smelling, quite posh, you know? I, I, I love it. So, last two. Next one on the list is an extremely refined fragrance. It's a leather-based fragrance. It's very complex, again, like Heritage. And you probably will or will not get compliment, depending on who smells you. But you yourself will be impressed that you've got such a fine taste. Again, slightly mature, 35 plus. It is Hermes, Vetiver, Bellamy, Vetiver. I have done a full review. This is based on Bellamy, which is an eternal classic. And my God, this is amazing. This is basically a niche fragrance and a designer price bottle. <clears throat> vetiver, obviously, is not grassy. It's woody vetiver. But they've also taken that famous leather from Bellamy, tamed it down a bit, introduced a few amazing notes like Elemi. There's this hidden note of dry fruits, which is the one that I get the most and I like the most. So dry fruits, nutty leather, slight Elemi, lemony, and then beautiful woody vetiver. It's really, really well made. It's, as I said, it's a niche quality fragrance. I wear this to work. I wear this when I'm by myself or going to the movies. I can wear this anywhere because it's so refined, so classy, so complex and so well made. 
amazing fragrance. I've done a full review, you can check it out. You must try this if you haven't. If you have, if you're fond of leather and if you have a bit of a style statement, you know, and you don't follow the trend, you must try this, you know. I probably, I think you will end up buying this if you, if you are one, one of those guys who has their own style. Last one on the list is a fragrance I've never featured. This is the year that I'm going to feature it. It's an outstanding fragrance. I think it's a 10 out of 10. I'll review this soon. This one is just amazing. It is Costume National Soul. New fragrance for me. And it is an outstanding fragrance. Out and out amazing fragrance. Oh, okay, what is it? It's a very radiant amber. It's coupled with vanilla. There's some other subtle notes. I'm new to this, so I'm trying to learn this fragrance. And it's got oud. Now, I don't get oud when I spray it on my skin. But yesterday, I put two on my wind cheetah and I went out. And I was shopping, vegetable shopping. And there was this woman who was dressed very inappropriately for vegetable shopping. Okay, she, she was beautifully uh, well dressed. And she started sort of following me. And you know, our supermarkets are huge. So she started following me and I, I probably crossed her path at least three or four times. So that's the effect the scent had, I'm assuming, on her. It's a very vibrant, very opulent, very rich, extremely sensual, very classy, sexy scent. And unfortunately, it's very difficult to get hold of here. But I was speaking to a friend of mine, Abdullah, he lives in Kenya, and it's very widely available in Africa. And I understand this was released for the African market. So this has this Middle Eastern feel about it. But, you know, it, it's definitely not to my nose a Middle Eastern fragrance. Not until I sprayed it on my shirt. When I spray it on my skin, it's a beautiful, vibrant, radiant amber with vanilla, with subtle notes, with tremendous projection, great longevity, and beautiful composition. I'll do a full review soon, but this was my pick for autumn number one 2019 i'm loving this fragrance i hope you like this um, list it's a little bit unique than what i normally do normally pick and hope you are going to try some of these take care bye bye